what's up? So what I think about old Stephen A. Smith with his tired hating on OJ, par for the course. We know he worked for the mass on ESPN. He has to say what the master tells him, you know. Uh, he tries to, he tries to, like he has so much disdain for verdicts and stuff. Like he's so deep. First of all, he's a sports analyst dude who makes dabs into pop culture. But no one is going to sit there and take him serious. If you want to know the totality about the OJ case, I suggest you check out the Judge Joe Brown take on the Great Dana, uh, the Great Dana, on uh, these YouTube streets, the acquittal of OJ. Check out with Judge Joe Brown how he broke it down eloquently, factually, and realistically. Stephen A. Smith sits there and always be hating on black folk left and right. Sits there, got something to say. Ask him about Josh Giddy, he can't say two words. Ask him about James Dolan. He got nothing to say. Finds a way to try to make Trump look like, like, well, maybe it's misunderstanding bossa. He's always got something when it's against black folk. He got the most energy. But when it comes to white folks, he got nothing to say. Tired butt takes on his show. You know. And um, there's a reason why they're trying to replace his butt on that whack show. Shannon Sharp breathed some air in it. But the thing is, is that, you know, he will do anything to keep the butter on the toast because he wants to keep that energy up. Now, I know Bob Koss is a racist bigot and he has to sit there and say that. But Stephen A., you're not deep in your well as Koss is because Koss is white. Koss is actually knowledgeable in this sports, even though he bias in his, you know, it pains me to have to listen to him. I call them all out because people talk and boast and brag how great America is and how rewarding it is and experience, right? Well, if it's so great, then why don't you live with the not guilty? Why are you still constipated and stuck in 1994? If you're so progressive, you're not a dweller. That's what cracks me up. Got a lot to talk about, but you get stuck because you know why? Because it is real. Racism is real in America with three Ks. It is real. And Stephen A. Smith is scared to talk the truth. He sits there and he hauls with Jerry Jones is racist behind with that photo from 1957 when it's clear as day he was standing there in the way when black kids was trying to go through them. But he ain't got enough energy to call out the massa. Why is that? Because he's working on the plantation. That's why. He got a lot to pop off about with OJ. Matter of fact, I'll go over and say this. It went for OJ Simpson. Stephen A. Smith wouldn't have the platform he got. Yeah, I'm going to say that. He making $12 million. He should thank OJ Simpson. Just like a Brian Gumbel should thank OJ Simpson. All of them should because OJ was the one that crossed over for brothers to get on the sponsors and the marketing. OJ did that thing. He was that one. And you sit up here and you think you can talk and rub shoulders and do all that. He did that. You know. But anyway, enough of talking about old tap dancing Stephen A. Smith. His tired hating on OJ Tate is played. Just like his segments and stuff is played. You know. Because we know how weasel he is. And then he'll go run and fetch and run with his head between his legs for the mass on his pen. And say to your good boy. Until they get tired of him. And when they get tired of him, they're going to find someone else to tap for. That's what they do. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for nothing. Like I said before, not guilty. Live with it. Stop dwelling. Because people always talk about you don't like America. Get out. Well, if you don't like the judicial system, leave it alone. But you either live with something or you don't. But your hate is extreme. I'm out.